Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Scott here with another simple video for you. Today I'm going to be showing you how to convert your movie files into a format that will work on your Apple TV. This will work if it's jailbroken or not. So the first step you're going to want to um, open up whatever browser you use. I'm going to use Google Chrome. And um, then you're just going to Google Handbrake. And um, let's go, you know, just download it now. Download whatever version works for you, either Windows or Mac. Um, I have Mac, so we're going to go ahead and download that. And you can click on the box around my face right now, and um, you can pause the video while uh, you download it. So the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up Handbrake once it's done being downloaded. All right, and so what you're going to do is when you get into Handbrake, you're going to go to Source, and by default, most of the time, it's just going to go, um, most of your torrents are going to be downloaded into your downloads. And so you can open them up that way, but what I like to do is I actually like to um, drag them off onto my desktop, so that way when I'm done downloading the program, I can easily just delete both of them, the AVI file and the AP, um, MP4 once it's done. And so once you've selected it, so I'm just going to go to desktop, select Scott Pilgrim CD2, open. And once you've done it, it should say scanning, blah, 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 then it'll be done. And you're going to go over here and you're going to click Apple TV. And then you can press start. And you can see it'll start the process down here. Um, it'll speed up and go pretty quickly. Then what you're going to want to do is if you have other files that you want to download, you can go to source. Um, I think I had a bunch of uh, South Park ones. I'm just going to look for it. So I have some of these. Oh, these are MP4s. All right, so this one isn't an MP4. And I'm going to open it, and I'm going to click add to the queue and so now it shows you that I have um, queues and you can do as many of these as you want alright so and if you're sitting there and you're wondering how I got these files basically what I'm doing is I'm downloading these torrents and you can download movies and whatnot for free by downloading an application called uTorrent or any application like uTorrent and you can find the download link in the description below alright and then your handbrake will uh, let you know that it's done by just just click OK. And you'll see, you'll see basically over here, let me move my FaceTime with myself. You'll see that uh, the files will be here Scott Pilgrim CD2 as MP4, and now I have South Park also as MP4. I'm going to go ahead and drag them into my iTunes account. And you'll see it's copying one of one. Oh, maybe I already had the other one. So, there you go. Alright, so now that's done. And what I normally do once that's done is um, I will grab all of the files, even the South Park one, and I put them in the trash and I empty them. Because otherwise, basically, you'll have a file in your downloads, you'll have one in your on your desktop and you'll have one in iTunes so it just takes up a lot of room so now let's show you that um, it is working that's the South Park playing on my iTunes if it'll load up so yeah that'll load up what you're going to want to do to make sure that it works on your app where I what you're going to want to do to make sure that it works on your Apple TV is make sure that it says um, home sharing is enabled. So I'll turn it off and then turn it back on. It'll ask you for your password. Now it's set up, so let's go take a look at the Apple TV. Okay, and one last thing before we go to the Apple TV. If this process is a little bit annoying or it takes a little bit too long, um, what you can do is click this link and um, you can download Plex and what Plex will allow you to do is 
play any movie file, move.move.avi.mkv, and whatever. It'll let you play them all, and you won't have to download them. The only negative about Plex is it's pretty new, and so there's not a whole lot of support for it. And what that means is you might not be able to fast forward or rewind certain movies. But um, let's go to the Apple TV. All right, and we're switching over to my iPhone 4 to get the rest of this video. So I'm going to go to computers, my library, go down into movies, and I'm going to scroll all the way down to the S's. Oh, wait. Uh, I'm going to go down to unknown genre and scroll all the way down to S's. And we have Scott Pilgrim CD2. So we'll click that, let it load. And now I have it playing on my, my Apple TV. We'll fast forward it. Boom. So there we have it. So there you have it. That's how you convert the files for the Apple TV. Thanks for watching and check back for updates and more videos as I try to make jailbreaking the Apple TV simple for you. I'm Scott and I'll see you next time.